Well, springtime is here in Texas, so it's a good time to go outside and start searching for wild edible plants, learn about new stuff. Looks like the spider wart is popping up. They're really nice bluish purple flowers. Little flower pods. The stems break off and it's got this sticky sap. Really good plant. So here I found some spider wart that has a long stem. And nice flower. And it's got the sticky sap. It's good for putting on insect bites and little first series, you know, real minor burns and irritated skin. This little clump of spider wart, it seems shorter. It doesn't really have long stems. I was reading on a forgingtexas.com, it says there's the long stem spider wart and the stemless. So this is possibly stemless. Those little flower pods coming out. I'm gonna taste some of those and the flowers. Some more of the long stem spider wart. All right, so the spider wart, it has, you know, small amounts of vitamins and minerals. And on foragingtexas.com, Merriweather says that he prefers to just eat the flowers and the little flower buds because they're more tender. The leaves and the stems are a little tougher. I would imagine if you catch the leaves when they're a little younger, they'd be good in a salad. And like I said, the stems, you can chop them up and put them in your soup or stew like okra. Like I said before, they're pretty tasty. And like I said, it's springtime. So go out, be careful, research, double check, triple check before you eat wild plants. But have fun outside finding some wild edibles.